ever pondered over the proposed Ben Gurion Canal and its route? This monumental project, named after David Ben Gurion, the first Prime Minister of Israel, is a proposed canal that would connect the Gulf of Aqaba to the Mediterranean Sea. It's a fascinating concept, and today, we're going to delve into the proposed route of this canal, highlighting some critical geographical features along the way. The journey of the Ben Gurion Canal would commence from the Gulf of Aqaba. This gulf is a narrow arm of the Red Sea, nestled between Saudi Arabia and Egypt. It's also bordered by Israel and Jordan, with the Israeli city of Eilat marking its northern tip. From there, the canal would carve its path northward, coursing through the Araba Valley. This valley is a low-lying desert that forms a natural border between the Negev Mountains in Israel and the Jordanian Highlands. Interestingly, the Araba Valley is part of the Great Rift Valley, a vast geological fault extending from Africa to Asia. Before reaching the Dead Sea, the canal would take a westward turn. The Dead Sea, a large salt lake lying below sea level, holds the title for being the lowest point on Earth. Israel, Jordan, and Palestine share this marvel known for its high salinity and mineral-rich waters. Next, the canal would navigate through a valley in the Negev Mountains. These hills and plateaus, covering most of southern Israel, are part of the Negev Desert. Despite its arid conditions, this region boasts diverse landscapes and ecosystems, from sand dunes and craters to canyons and oases. Finally, the canal would curve northward, making its way to the Mediterranean Sea, a large body of water connecting Europe, Africa, and Asia. The Mediterranean Sea, surrounded by a medley of countries and cultures, serves as a significant route for trade and tourism. To summarize, the proposed Ben Gurion Canal would start from the Gulf of Aqaba, move northward through the Araba Valley, turn westward before the Dead Sea, cut through a valley in the Negev Mountains, and finally reach the Mediterranean Sea. This ambitious project, if ever realized, would not only be longer than the Suez Canal, but would also present a unique blend of diverse geographical features, from deserts and mountains to seas and valleys. It's a fascinating route, isn't it? A testament to the marvels of engineering and the relentless spirit of human ambition.